I was standing here and one foot was kind of like sinking into the the lake, but you know it'd be fine. If I if it keeps getting further and further, then maybe I'll stop. No, anyway, you know, I was like contemplating what to share. Um, you know, all we can really do is share of ourselves. And what I like to offer is what I'm doing that's working for me. Um, and my realizations um, now were are many different from my nows of what we call the past. And yet there was some truth there or something that was pulling me along in my, um, what would you call it, pursuit of not happiness, but by, in a sense, we're running after the taste of God. That's what I call it. It's, you know, when you get that taste of, of, of when you feel like liberated or some ta sense of yourself or some experience out of the ordinary or, you know, it's like, I know when I was going to church the first, times when I was in a really difficult marriage and uh, suffering a lot of pain and I knew where to go where would I go and to I went to a metaphysical uh, church and then the things that I would hear I would be become more restored to myself because there was truth there it doesn't mean it was all truth in everything that's taught or anything we need to be discerning and not just throw out everything because it's a fad too or because you know God's out but the universe does it now it's just really it, it all of us denying the really essence and the really the the divine powers and and nature of everything it's mystical yeah, really mystical. And when we tune into nature, we're getting closer to the mystical because there's more integrity. And that's what we're seeking is the integrity of ourselves. And that comes in the quietness, even when there's noise or sounds, that you become so strong within yourself, you are always tasting the soma, the soma of divine love, loving yourself, your God presence, your beloved. Yeah, but that was what was missing from some of that, first, that metaphysical teaching that had a lot of the pieces of the puzzle and just like anything. And what is the puzzle? We're trying to make a complete picture of, and how do we know when we find a piece, we resonate with it. Mm -hmm. And it depends on what you're asking for and what you're open to and, want and desire to realize. Ask for the topmost. And but people say, oh, that means the this or the that in the world, no to really and fully and completely be who you are with all your powers and abilities activated. How do you do that? Well, to know that that's possible and it is who you are. So, how do we start? Right where you are. And you take a look at whatever is going on in your world, you call a problem because you're calling it a problem, first of all. So let's just talk to your God presence within, even though we need to we'll go beyond the talking apart, but it's a step. And that saying, what would you like? That this be resolved, this be worked out, or this be met, or this, that is needed, actually, for your full 
the fulfillment of your divine purpose of complete self and God realization and activation beyond the confines or limits of the mind. the sounds of the silence of nature. The song, the light, the sun, is a transformer of a, of a greater light. And we emanate our light. This is just a, a word, an emanation in a, in a and when you emanate hatred, you're hating yourself, and you're torturing yourself, and you're punishing yourself. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that. That won't get you happiness later. It's right now. Just feel grateful. Be where you are. Be with yourself, and we're all together. You're not alone. Mm -mm. And you're also who you are. And when we know this, this is when the fun begins. And when we start having fun, real fun, the joy, the pleasure, because we like to play, but not winners and losers, but simply playing. Mm -hmm. and playing is interested, like a play, maybe. But how about the divine play? Mm -hmm. And you recognize the divinity in nature the artistry, magnificent. It's a creation. And living entities activating. Mm -hmm. That was a pretty one. Wow. It's called acoustical music. The vibrations. 